It was very well detailed. It looks like a like a sorry like vagina. Hello, welcome to Easy Company Gaming, and oh, do I have a surprise for you guys? Here I have, um, Z Hot Toys One Six Scale Bubble Fat Return of the Jedi Edition Deluxe Package. And this, this thing is awesome, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like like the videos and share. I'm doing a giveaway of a um, $20 off Sideshow Collectibles website code and before the 15th. So, all that going to happen on the channel. So, let's go over some of the details. This figure, oh my god, this has to be, this got to be one of the most detailed 1-6 scale Boba Fett um, figures I've ever seen in my life. Like, look at all the details. I, I, I look at it in my room, and I'm like, Oh my god, that thing is like a real guy staring at me. And it looks like a real dude because the cloth, it has fabric, it has, like, all kinds of stuff. I love the base. The base is nice. It's that Return of the Jedi area type thing. And that's the back. I'm gonna switch to the back and so show you guys. The back is also amazing. The straps, everything... From the paint, the weathering, to the, to the outfit, the jetpack is amazingly detailed. That thing is amazing. It looks so real with his burn marks on his jet missile launcher. and It just looks so real. I love it. And just the detail. I love the detail. I love details as always. I've always loved details. And Hot Toys has always hit it. Number one. Sideshow, Sideshow came out with like a... I think Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, and this one just knocks it out of the water. This also comes with the Sarlacc Pit that's been scaled down, and here you can take a look at his gauntlets, which those little metal points over there feel like it's real metal. Um, his gun, I'll show you his gun here, and his gun, that's really freaking detailed. Um, it looks like it's, uh, the one fourth scale goes into more rustic looking, but this, this here for one sixth scale is good. It has an actual scope in it too, like they painted the scope. As you can see here, the leather belts on him look like real leather. Like they're really, really leather, um, holsters or little pouches he has on. They're just filled with, I guess, little cardboard pieces or something. And he has his little red belt over there with his little cod piece and... Everything is just weathered so detailed nicely. And look at the jetpack. Looks like it's been through battle and then through a toy factory and then put into production. Um, his jetpacks also here. Uh, what's it called? His jet thrusters also uh, articulate. We're going to go over his artic articulation and all that stuff too. And his jetpack is held on by a small magnet. I've heard people, oh, it's kind of good. I've had a little bit of weakness on the magnet. It's held on by these two most difficult hooks in the world. Once you've unhooked them, you're like, that's it. Satan is coming to Earth. The Antichrist is here, and it's the hardest thing. Here's his cape. His cape is uh, wired on the edges, and you can mold it to however you feel. It's it's weathered nicely. I like the weathering effect. They could have made it a little bit of like airbrushed dirt or something on it. That's one gripe I had. He's too clean, and um, he has his hands are really plastically look. They're like rubber. Like all the other hot toys, but they're like plasticky. His boots are amazing. His boots are well made. Um, and you can see what he comes with. He comes with a little accessories here. You put him in his pockets, and I think this is like his gadgets and stuff. I colored in those little bronzy pieces you're gonna see. I colored those in. Um, you see those little bronzy marks over there and then over here on the other side he comes with like another dagger on his other pocket and then like another tool over here I don't know what this is but this bronzy looking um, I painted that in with like a metallic sharpie just to give a little bit of more detail I'm, I'm, I'm willing to go into more detail with him and paint him up um, not paint him up but like I can add some touches here and there and I wanna you know add to this I wanna make it the best Boba Fett thing I've ever done in my life so as far as um I think I go through uh, some articulation over here as far as articulation his head rotates all the way around it's on a ball joint so it's good rotation this helmet on the uh, thing has really good rotation as compared to the stormtroopers and over here to his viewfinder that also articulates up and down That'd be cool if it had little LED lights in those in the end of it. 
but th that goes up and down. It's very sturdy, very sturdy. It's not bendable. I've seen the one fourth scale actually go bent and stuff. So his arm goes like past 90, up, up and over, out and in, and it kind of is limited due to the fact that it is cloth, and the cloth holds him back, unlike the Stormtrooper's elasticity. And his arms rotate, and his feet do the whole bendy wendy, and his his always the back and forth, but on the legs is okay. But um, it's it's limited again by I guess the outfit. Um, his feet uh do bend at a full night full ninety and past. Like they do splits. He walks well, obviously. And what else? Um. I'm going to take a look at the uh, Sarlacc Pit over here. The Sarlacc Pit has to be... Ooh, it's behind the scenes sneak peek. The Sarlacc Pit has to be... Oh, it had to be small. It was scaled down extremely. So I was thinking, hey, I'm going to use this. It was very well detailed. It looks like a, like a Sarlacc vagina. It, 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 the, the tentacle looks like a tentacle. looks like actual tentacles. And I, I decided to use it as a 1-6 scale. I mean, one twelfth scale figure thing, and I decided to put my Empire Strikes Back Rebel Tech and my First Order Stormtrooper up there, up for grabs for the Sarlacc Pit to have a nice dinner because First Order Tr Stormtroopers need he needs a new taste, a new taste. So these are the tentacles it comes with. Three tentacles. You screw them in. They're pretty flexible. They have wire inside, really durable wire. That's not gonna. It doesn't feel cheap at all. This whole set does not feel cheap. I mean. For $259 of retails. And it doesn't feel cheap at all, but it is painted plastic. Um, this Sarlacc pit is well detailed, everything like molded, and that's my that's what it comes with is the uh, stand you wrap it around, you unclip it, you clip and unclip it off of his waist, and he can be up there for a one, one six scale. But I like the size of the one, one twelfth scales being up there, it's more scaled, I guess you would say. It looks really good with actually one, one twelfth scales. And that's the back of it, and it shows the tentacle details, and the rock, the rock, all this detail is like very well hand painted, very well. And it has the actual Sarlacc teeth in there that's really, really hard and pointy, so be careful, you might die if you, if you touch, no you won't, but I'm just kidding. This is what all comes in the box. Um, it has a really nice, really nice art on the, on the box when you open it up. It has him going in the Sarlacc pit, him posing, Slave One, planets space and this is what he comes packaged in in a clamshell box and I'm gonna open that up had a little hard time but you know hard times and come on come on man come on open the box get it all there we go so he comes with um three sets of hands I think four sets of hands four four three or four just count I don't know but um he comes with all these he comes with two fists he also comes with um, that, like a holding the gun hand, a holding the holding the gun trigger hand. I guess he comes with two holding gun hands, holding the gun trigger hands, and he also comes with like I'm casually having my hand open, which is the hand that he has over his E11 blaster when he's holding that. He also comes with the thrusters that I don't use because I think they make the figure kind of cheapy. I don't like it. I don't. I don't know. I don't like that blaster coming off. I don't like it. But it it pegs in. Uh, nice details on it. But it pegs in over there into the jetpack, and it's all right. But I'm not going to use it. So we're going to put that back in and then wrap that all up. So this is just the figure itself. The figure review for the Hot Toys 16 uh, Boba Fett Return of the Jedi Deluxe Edition. And if you like what you saw here on Easy Company Gaming, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. There's plenty of videos and plenty of amazingness coming and always coming because I am so special, Mr. Man Boom Boom. And Boba Fett looks amazing. And I'm also giving away this um, uh, sideshow thing, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure to subscribe and you will and comment down below and you'll get your little $20 off to sideshow. This thing expires on the 15th of November, so hurry up! I ain't got all day, you know.